Psalm 3 Lord, how many are my foes? How many rise up against me? Many are saying of me, God will not deliver him. But you, Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, the one who lifts my head high. I will call out to the Lord, and he answers me from his holy mountain. I lie down and sleep. I wake again because the Lord sustains me. I will not fear, though tens of thousands assail me on every side. Arise, Lord, deliver me, my God. Strike all my enemies in the jaw. Break the teeth of the wicked. From the Lord comes deliverance. May your blessing be on your people. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to my channel, Susan Diamond Paint. So this is your view today. We are working on the Chuck Pinson Space for Reflection. Working on this is a little break between the the uh, tutorial series. So I'm gonna pull this down to where I need it. I think we're gonna go right up there, above right there with the washi tape is. Okay, so let me get the peas out. What number is the peas? here none so this is the chuck pinson one from diamond art club worked on this for a while ago and then got it back out said you know i'm gonna need a little break and work on a little something different and this is a little different video for you guys so <clears throat> this uh, is monday june 5th this will be tuesday night the video let me get my Reels here, they're rounds. Move this over to the side a little bit, give myself some room. What I say, I was doing peas. Okay, give myself where I'm where I need to be here. So, this past weekend, I didn't do too much. Um, Friday morning, I woke up with a sinus migraine. Um, haven't been taking allergy pills, so I had to pick some of that up on Saturday. But, yeah, it was, was kind of um, hard. I did go to work after 1 and finished my day out and then took sick time. So, I had sick time, so I used that. But it was um, one of those unbearable ones. So... Had pizza Friday night, and then Saturday I was going to cook, but I was working on, um, is there anything, was I work? I was working on this one, I think, and then we decided we were going to go eat seafood, so I went and ate seafood and then stopped and did some grocery shopping for some, uh, food items that we needed, so... When we got back, the frames had come in for the company Art to Frames, where I'd gotten the frames for the custom, every moment customs, all three were done and ready to go to the uh, customer. So we delivered those on Sunday. So I'm waiting for her to give it to her daughters, and I believe she's going to do that tomorrow. I know one of them is coming home tomorrow from California. So I just told her, I said, I won't post any pictures of the paintings. I said, until you do. So she said she would tag me in it. So we kind of talked a little bit, you know, about their other, their few other pictures. And I met her youngest son, TJ. So he wanted to know how to do it. I told her, she um, said that they go to Hobby Lobby to get the wires put on the back of the frames because... I'm not dealing with that. I'm, you know, I'm not a professional, so let professionals do it and know what they're doing. So that's what I told her. I said, just take them to the diamond art section. I said, let him pick something out. I said, and I said, it's really easy. I said, he can do it. So, so I don't know if she'll be able to, if he'll do it, do it or not. I, I think he'll be okay with it. But you know, I don't know him personally enough or well enough to know if he has the patience for it because it does take patience, but I think it would be a good enough distraction, you know, for him. He he seems to like doing arts and crafts, so I just told her, I said, yeah, just, just let him pick something out, you know, something small. You know, down the dots and everything, they got really good, cute, you know, kids, kids things, Star Wars and Disney and things of that nature, so... So yeah, so even on Saturday we went to Hobby Lobby because we were looking for something and I went into the diamond set art section but I didn't really see anything so 
didn't get anything on Diamond Art Club's uh, anniversary kit sale that they did this past weekend. I do, did, and still do. Um, I like the Bonnie White Halloween um, pictures that they have for her, but I figured if I waited long enough, like, I, you know, I have enough to do as it is that, you know, I could wait for the pattern to come out on cross-stitch and do it as a um, cross-stitch, you know, convert cross-stitch design into a diamond painting because I've done that before. Never mind the fact, you know, I still got the heaven and earth design ones I need to do, want to do. But, <clears throat> that being said, my customs, the three that I did, two were a 50 by 75 and one was a 50 by 50. Now, we had ordered those in September. And I just got done with them at the end of May. So, it took me eight months to get those, to, you know, done. Along with, you know, doing other uh, projects. Because she asked me, she says, are, my, are those the only ones you work on? I said, no. I said, I work on different things. I said, because I do a YouTube channel. She goes, oh, okay. So, it's kind of like, you know, I worked on hers the most. Obviously, the hardest. Because um, I'd work on hers like on weekends. You know, I got, you know, a crap ton of time on weekends you know to get it done so but um the lady that i work with her husband wants some done for his uh, restaurant so they're food items so they've been ordered and they've been shipped and they are three 50 by 75 and one 50 by 50 so i've got one more than what i did for for her so I was thinking, well, if it's going to take me eight months to do, it took three, you know, eight months to do three, it's probably going to take me a year to do four, which is crazy to say in itself, you know, it's a customer's work that, you know, needs to get done, but I have a full-time job, and she knows that because we work together. But then you want to get, you know, the, the artwork out because, you know, he's the customer waiting on it. So my husband and I talked about it, I said, we're probably just going to have to, give them his you know as soon as they get done one at a time and just order the frames and i really did um like ordering the frames from art to frame so we'll say if anybody needs um odd size canvas frames it's go to them you can you put it over um i think it's like on the left hand side and it will you can choose inches or centimeters so i chose obviously the centimeters because it was the 50 to 75 and then it shows you the different selections that they have, you know, the different wood types, the different colors, you know, everything that will, you know, go with your, your frame. You have all different types, different prices, and, you know, so, um, <clears throat> so, yeah, go to Art to Frames, and they're made in the USA, so, you know, you'll, if you're from, if you're in the United States, you're obviously going to be ordering locally, so, um, I think that's you know pretty good, you know, good to support your American businesses. So yeah, so that's what um, that's what I'll be doing here. So it will again be um, it's gonna be some every moment pictures, and it's gonna be food items. So like I said, it's gonna be some more on the channel. Um, sometimes customs don't do well on the channel, but at this point in time, it's going to be whipping rambles and maybe some, um, tutorials here and there, especially with the one color at a time, you know, that will be different artwork to be doing. So that's, that's where I'm at right now. So my ASMR videos seem to be doing okay. That's the uh, Looney Tunes Sylvester, um, work. So anytime I work on that one that is an ASMR video so if you want to see the work on Sylvester it's just me um, clicking and going no talking um, some of the videos are long now a couple of the like the first couple I think the first three one's the kidding up so that's all it is and then the other two that released this past weekend um, have like rain thunder sounds with it um, because you couldn't really hear the um, clicking um, sticky sound with the bead on the canvas but then i got i had a different camera that i was using before i got my gopro um it seemed to pick it up very well i was able to lower the camera and um, it'd be low enough to pick up pick up the sound so that's what i i used it for for the 
videos that will be dropping this weekend. So those you'll be able to um, hear and see, of course, just the the work. And it's pretty much like I show, you know, because there's a lot of color blocking. It's like what I show on the tutorial, you know, especially like for the one color at a time. I do the checkerboard and the step method. I do a lot of that. And, you know, to me, it doesn't, it's a color blocking section that's just, you know, what I'm going to do. So that's got the um, film on it. So that's not going to stick. So this will be my row right here. Lift that up. It's sticking right there. Yeah, I didn't cut good. So let me pull that up. I am going to change my mind here. I am going to make this my, that row because that's what's um, open. So there we go. I'm going to put that back. So, yeah, so I figured, you know, I'll just section this little, this one off here um, on the space for the, for the reflection. And this is what I worked on while I was talking to you. And it's got some good color blocking areas. It's the mountain scene in the sky. So, I think it's more mountain scene than it is anything. So, yeah. And then, you know, when I'm working on, I had, I just, mm, I love working on the Ever Moments. Ever Moment to me is the best custom place to get a custom done. To me, they're just, they're by far the best. That's where I like to get my customs made. I've, that's where I've done them all. So I'm not gonna stop now. You know, for me, they work, so. But I will say, going back to a round and going back to a diamond art club, I just always can't get over how how amazing the picture looks. I mean, that's how I felt when I was working on Sylvester's. Just like it's, it was just insane. And I think on one of the videos, and I can't remember, I think it's just the most recent one that I've got um, loading up that will be the next weekend's video. I spilled the beads, y'all. I mean, I spilled them in the freaking um, kidding up video, but I spill them. I almost think I did it twice. I did blacks and then I did the whites and I just built it all over the canvas and then you know, I'm just picking them up. So that's what happens, you know, keeping it real here, people. So then, you know, and then I was trying, to, we were trying to figure out, I'm trying to figure out how to section off this 50 by 75. If I want, if I, it's because it's four of them. Now the smallest one hopefully won't take me that long. Hopefully none of them will take me long. And there's, you know, they're because they're so big and they are food items and they do or will have some color blocking, I hope, or either that it's going to be very well um, detailed as far as colors concerned. And it's just going to be all over the place. But I was trying to figure out how I was going to section it off, you know, and get one done in two months. So it's like, now I was talking to my husband about it. Actually, when I was coming up, when I was coming out, oh, P is mine. Where's mine? Where'd I put, oh, I was gonna say, where'd I put those things? There they are, and some of them are up here. But um, <clears throat> I was trying to figure it out, how I was gonna section it out. And I told him, I said, yeah, I was trying to talk to you last night about how I was trying to figure out in my head how I was like, gonna section it off to do it, get it done two months. and. He goes, we just do half, half, half. And I'm thinking, well, that's four. I said, that's not going to work. I said, but I said, I could do, I said, I could break up the fourth piece into 14 individual pieces because that would be two weeks worth. So that'd be two and two is a month and then two and two is another month. So that would work. But then again, that's all going to depend on if I do it that way and half it. You know, vertically and horizontally make four parts and then take that one part and break it up into 14 parts and it's still big and still too big for a one a day I don't know what I'm gonna do because I was thinking you know if I work I mean obviously I have a job so the only time I can work during the week is you know after work and that will be after like fixing supper and eating and all that good stuff so it would be probably like um, <clears throat> seven o'clock or so before I'd be able to really get working on it. And then that's like, you know, nine o'clock is usually my cutoff time. So that's two hours. So what can I get done in two hours, you know? 
plus, you know, doing the videos and all that good stuff. So, yeah, I think I'm getting ready to get become pretty boring. Um, I think really all y'all care about, as long as you have somebody to listen to and ramble with you. Um, that's really all, all that's cared about, so. I will try to still be ramblings. Um, like I said, it's just, if I don't do a lot, there's not a lot to tell you. And we didn't do a lot this weekend, so there's not a lot to tell you. Um, I can only tell you so much about, you know, things going on at work, but, yeah. That's about it. So, uh, that's, that's my goal for next year of my life here. Ha ha. Working on diamond painting. It's going to be customs. But, yeah, I'll fill in. I'll try to, you know, do different ones. I told I said I could do, like, you know, it's definitely on Saturdays. Maybe on Sunday when I, maybe Sunday will be, like, recording time. And I'll do a bunch of videos and just do voiceovers and, you know, get something like that done. But I just, I just don't want to waste any of my time or use any of my time for something else when I can need to work on these customs and get them done. So, I swear I'm mad. I just don't know what to do, y'all. And then keep up with the channel and all that good stuff. So, I'm trying to make these, make these sure these are in the right place. All right. So, what's that color? <clears throat> 16. Yeah, I have these in my um, 80. This is the one that's in the, the uh, Art Dot container, the 80 bottles. It's not 80 colors, obviously. It's only like 44 colors, but it's all the extras. I have them over here too, so. Yep. But that's where I was using for the art dot the last section of the of bottles i had that because the rest of them you know are my spares that uh 80 of them would be using for uh anything i had project coming in so that's why i'm doing really doing the space for reflection because that's where the 80 colors or the 80 balls are being used right now is for these for this painting plus i'm going to get this one done because i had started working on it and it's like, well, if I can finish this before the my ever moment um, customs come in, then this one, the recipient that's gonna that this one's for, is actually gonna be working on our house again, um, starting Thursday. So we had our siding cleaned, uh, pressure washed, and nothing against the guy that did the pressure washing. You know, he did the best. Just he said. It's either going to, you know, really clean them or, or it's going to reveal how much ox oxidation that you have on your, your, your um, siding. So, we had them clean. That was grad that was Friday, the graduation um, day. I got off early. That was Memorial Day weekend. So, um, he was cleaning everything, cleaned the sidewalks, cleaned the um, concrete for where the carport is and cleaned, you know, all that area. And it cleaned it really good. I mean, it looks really nice. It's really clean. I mean, you can see, like, the rocks and stuff on the concrete for the uh, driveway. And, um, but it pretty much had revealed that, yeah, the, uh, the siding's oxidized. And, um, where it gets baked, uh, rainwater gets baked by the sun is revealed. And, and there were just spots all over the house. So, it, uh pretty much aggravated my husband so he's like well he says you know we need to get this done I was like well so we'll you know get this done so it hadn't been taught or they hadn't been talk and we're kind of we're kind of back and forth when we were building this building to you for me to work from home it was the discussion of you know now it's the time to add the bathroom yes we can add one later but you know it's gonna be a little bit different when you add one later and it was kind of the talk that you know after um, I had a bathroom accident, um, uh, and it still kind of tickles me, but at that point in time, it didn't tell me. I was just so mad. But anyway, um, that, you know, we work on having to do a bathroom, and I just add a bathroom on the back. So, he was kind of like, so, you want to add a bathroom? I was like, no, not really, not right now. I so said, now that the siding's going to have to be done, the bathroom's going to have to wait till next year. So, you know, that just dips into things, and but we're going to get our siding fixed. So, that... So the guy, this that's that's what this picture is for. The guy that is doing that work, this is for him because he built this building for us. Or he renovated this building for us. Um, it was a, you know, a building like, 
you know, where you store things in your backyard, a storage building, I guess you could say. He converted it into the space that it is now so I actually can work from home and, you know, not have to drive to Greenville and, you know, drive to work an hour, you know, an hour to work in traffic where it only should take you, you know, like 30 minutes to get somewhere when it's going to take you an hour. And then drive home and it's the same mess because, you know, people drive to Greenville, true people drive home and it's still the same traffic driving to and from. And so, you know, take an hour or so to come home. It's like, no, nah, that ain't going to work. So, that's, it was built for that intention. Or this was built for, you know, me to work from home and to have a craft room and to have a he, uh, she shed man cave. So, half of it's my husband, half of it's mine. So, there's a TV in here and that's how I watch, you know, YouTube. That's how I watch um, Four Kids and One for Seven when I'm down in Peyton. When I'm not recording, and a lot, a lot of times I'm watching that, you know, like on the weekend. So... And then maybe, you know, through the week, it just depends on what I've, you know, I've gotten done, not gotten done. So, at any rate, so he's starting on that Thursday. So, I want to get this picture done. Obviously, I'm not going to get done by that Thursday. That is not going to happen. I tell you that right now. And I know that a lot of people will sit here and say, well, you know, if you multi-placed, it would go faster. And you could get paintings done quicker. And blah, 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 blah. But I am a one drill at a time person. This is what gives me the satisfaction. And like I said, everybody diamond paints differently. Everybody does multi, um, multi-placing. Um, I don't, and and I've, you know, I've said it time and time again. I've said it before. Like I said, it's nothing wrong with that. Everybody is to each their own. I personally just do not like, it's enough of the spacing single placing especially for me for rounds because i'm a square person so the um even looking at it like right now i can see where my rounds are like all over the place there's no straight lines going on they're just everywhere i, I can tell it i can see it and you know that's fine because that's just the human part of it uh, you can't be perfect and it's going to have imperfections but that keeps the human part to it and that keeps you or creating art to it but that being said, um, in watching people multi-place, uh, it's the uniformness of the lines. I gotta make sure I'm gonna say this right. But, I mean, because you can tell when you place like four diamonds and say you do four like, you know, in the row, in the section that you are, that you're gonna have that uniformity uh, these four beads are the same. These four beads are the same. These four beads are the same. The spacing's the same because you place these four beads down together, and it's going to create that line, it's that you know that straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line. And to me, I see that more than what I see when I see my rounds being all over the place and the lines not being perfect. And that bothers me more. So that's a just that's a me thing. That's not that's not an everybody thing. That it's just a me. So the the perfectionness of placing, and, it, and it's for any amount for three, for four, for five, for six. You're gonna have if you're placing that many, you know, in a straight line, either you know horizontally or vertically. You're creating a straight line because you're just lined. They're all lined up and they're laying down there the same way as opposed to individually placing them you know they're just going however they're sitting but and that's just where their lines are it it just drives me bonkers because i can see it and i don't like it so again like i said that's uh, that's just a me thing I, I don't know why it is it just it is so when i've seen people's work and i can see it I can see where they play or where they've multi-placed their diamonds because I can see the straight lines and it, like I said, it just drives me crazy. So that's one of the reasons why I don't do it. Number two, I've never really mastered it. And that's not me saying, you know, oh, the reason why I don't do it is because I didn't master it because, you know, she's making up this reason that she don't like the way it looks because she didn't master it. No, I don't like the way it looks. Plus, I just... Because I don't like the way it looks, I didn't see the point of trying to master it because I don't do it. So, and I get 
to me, like I said, I get the satisfaction of laying it one at a time. It, it's like, sorry, hit y'all. It's like I said, I mean, it's not a race. I mean, yeah, I want to get these done, you know, the customs done as, as soon as I possibly can, but he, he knows that it's going to take a while. I mean, it's three really massive big ones and one not so big, but you know, it's the same as the 50, it's a 50 by 50 centimeters. So it's what the 20, 20 by 20 inch. Still, that's pretty massive. I mean, it's big, you know. I mean, this one right here is a 74 by 55, I think. So not quite a, I think that's what the size is for this one. So this is another odd size, but you know, that's Dime Art Club for you. They, they have the odd sizes, so. Yeah, so you know, that's just kind of where I, you know, where I am. And I like the pins with the double ends, cause you know, I can stick whatever I want to in it. And right now I got some putty. I have Mary's Mud. Um, it's her Cheshire, uh, Cheshire Cat Farts. Mary Mud, so go check her out. I like her putty. Um, it seems to do well for me, uh, being a hard placer. I have Randa's um, Crafty Corner, uh, her wax. I got that in another pen. I will say for me, and this is the only way I can get either one of these to work, the putty or her wax, and she, I have Randa's putty also. But because I live in the South, South Carolina to be exact, and it gets warm, and it gets um, muggy. The humidity is insane here. It's not like 100 degrees warm right now because I got the air conditioning unit on and it's like on 71, so it's pretty, you know, cool. Not cold, but cool in here. But I've noticed that um, the more War, or the warmer the putty or wax gets, the stickier it gets for me. And that doesn't work for me because I'm a hard presser. And, and I tried really hard yesterday when I was working on this to be light. Especially when the wax got sticky on me. But um, it got to the point where I couldn't pull the uh, bead off the wax. Because it was too, uh, too warm. Too warm for the wax. So it just works better for me to put the wax in the putties in the refrigerator because I got a refrigerator out here so I just put them in the refrigerator and they just work it just works better for me so and I still like the pink wax I still deal with the pink wax um it's just I do different things because I get bored I guess I get bored too easy or something I don't know or to decide that you know something's not working for me and I gotta change it up so I just take the pen and I just kind of dip it like a wood in the wax in the end here make a little holes and then kind of work my way up with it so yeah that's i've yet to find i don't know it, I, I guess it's because i'm so diff, diff it's just different for me but i haven't found anything yet that works great for a hard presser for me it means like i said it just i have to keep it in the fridge to keep it from being too sticky because then my is either sticking to the drills and coming off as a residue on the drills or the drills aren't even coming off the pen and I have to deal with that you know craziness now uh, glue dots do work for me I have done and used glue dots I just like changing things up I like to have the smelly stuff I know that I know that uh, somebody online does sell the in her Etsy store the um scented glue dots kind of waiting on and i don't even know if mary has mary mud mary 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 makes crafts i think i don't even know yet if she has her scented glue dots i mean she's the person i want to buy them from um i like her i like her her shop her shop drops i just haven't watched her lately so i don't know what what new she has you know out there so i think that's all those colors right there so yeah, so for somebody that doesn't have anything to talk about, I sure can full talk your heads off. I know you, I tell you what. But that's the ramblingness, but yeah. So anyway, so that's that's where I'm at. That's what we got going on. So now I can tell you about my Fridays that will be coming up. 
And I, don't, I may take a week in vacation, I'll stay vacation in July and work on the paintings. Don't know yet. Got time I have to use. All right, let me see here. I'm going to do the equals there, and that's number 33. I'm getting where I'm starting to learn my numbers again. Yeah, so I knew that I thought this one was 33, but I wasn't sure. But you know, just learning numbers as you go. The mountain section is pretty much the same here. So I just got a little bit to the forest, but yeah, I've done, done my tree sections. My looks like Japanese maples to me. But um, so work, 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 work. Today was Monday. I tell you, today flew by and I felt like I got nothing done, but I did a lot of stuff. There's a lot of email stuff and there was a lot of crap that had to be gone through and I'm gonna talk about that tomorrow. I'll say, look, I said, I'm gonna have to understand about the mail situation. No one's doing their mail like they're supposed to and they're putting it all on a bola. That's our department. And we ain't doing it all, so that ain't happening. Y'all got to put your own, pick your own crap stuff up. Quit passing the book. Nobody knows what they're doing. Oh, but the Bola department does that. No, we don't. We don't do that. Stop. Stop assuming we do it all because we don't. But, um, yeah. But the new thing is, and this is something I learned about on Friday because it was announced on Friday. So, they are um, giving us what they call half-day half, half day Fridays. And so, starting next week until September 1st, um, there are going to be six Fridays that you'll have that you can work half a day. But obviously, you have to make your time up during the week. So, you're going to get paid for four hours, but you don't have to work them. But you've already worked them because you're working them, you know, an hour over or before, you know, each day. So, I'm breaking mine up from 7.30 until 5.30. So, then you know, that gives me a decent time to still make supper and eat it and then come out here a little bit and try to do some work you know that kind of cuts into that but then it gives me four hours on friday to um really work on you know whatever diamond painting or do whatever it is that you know we're going to do so it's kind of guess the idea you know that if you want to leave early to go on vacation or something you know you have the opportunity to do it to to do that so mine i start first well, the first Friday, because he said that my boss said, you know, I'm going to go with, try to go with the seniority. So, I've got you down first. That's okay. So, my Friday is next week. So, next week, I'll be working um, my 7.30 to 5.30, excuse me, y'all, my y'all, um, shift next week uh, to have my first half day Friday off and I'll probably, I don't know, it depends on if the ever moments ring in by the end. I know that they're scheduled to um, be here by the 23rd of June, but you know, every month's pretty fast. They've already left China, that their facility, because I saw that on the tracking. So it shouldn't take long for it to get here. Just hopefully it doesn't get hold up in U.S. Customs too long and gets to where it's supposed to be going, so maybe by then i'll have have them and can work on them and have you know four hours on friday to do that um we're still trying to keep up with our saturday night movie nights and that's what we did this past saturday so i'm talking to y'all now and i ain't gonna have anything to talk to you about tomorrow so yeah you're gonna be like yeah you talk just like you know all day all night monday night so but, yeah, we're still keeping up with our movies. So, we watched um, the Indiana Jones. Let's see, the, was it the last crusade? Or the one before that? I don't know. We haven't seen them all. So, um, we watched it. I mean, it was okay. It was, to me, a little on the corny side. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. Because I think there we have another one to watch. And we're, you know, we want to see the new one that's going to be in the theater. You know, but kind of got to play catch up and find out, well, what tech did we, you know, miss as far as what Indiana Jones himself is doing, so. Yeah, I, I don't know. I just felt like it was just, it was a little on the corny side. But, um, that's what we watched Saturday, so. I don't know what we'll watch this Saturday. 
Maybe the next the Indiana Jones or something. Um, I was kind of surprised that, um, kind of, not really surprised, but I saw where um, Dungeons and Dragons has already made it to a Paramount Plus. So, it's like some movies you have, you will wait for a good while for them to do their theater run, but then it won't take them long to to release to the streaming and as long as you're paying for the streaming service you can you know watch whatever movie so um that's like uh hbo had um magic mike's last dance i watched that last night actually yeah last night uh, i was supposed to be out here uh, filming but i wasn't i was working but then i was watching add more zest and it's like oh and it was like about six o'clock i said oh i can watch you know magic mike uh, last dance for the next two hours and be done and go inside at eight so I can play my Disney Dreamlight game because that's what else I'll be doing is I'll be playing my game. We're getting, getting ready to have a big massive update here and I don't want to miss out on that, you know, playing all the game stuff. But so I played a little bit last night. I played some yesterday. I had to get, uh, I had to actually play a little bit yesterday to get something done for what I had to do a task that had to be done midday so that's why I played a little bit yesterday but and the Disney Speed Store is gonna have their new season I haven't played it lately so I'm just being a slacker on that one it's like you know the newness more often there's just other things that I'm doing so and the diamond painting is gonna be you know one of them and working on custom definitely much so so, and I had already decided that, you know, with the Every Moment Custom, obviously you'll get a video, you know, however I do it. If I still do it, you know, one a day, that's what you guys are going to be watching. So, I'll try to make it a tutorial series as much as I possibly can to um, say, okay, this is, you know, how you handle a, every new custom. We'll do a kit up. We'll section it off like I'm going to anyway. I'll put the washi tape on the edges we'll we'll figure it out as we go so i'll try not to be too bored too boring with you on it but that's where i feel like the next year of my life's gonna be be <laughs> it's gonna be working on that so i don't want it to be that way but it just takes time and some i can't rush and do all the things and i gotta give my hand a break too you know let it rest and we'll have to go to the doctor and have a hand wrist injury no no thank you I'll pass on that i'm left-handed we can't play that game i have to use this hand so yeah that is kind of where it is so on that note i am going to cut out with you keep on working though because i've got uh add more zests um her june waffle i've got episodes to catch up on that uh, so yeah, but I figured I'd, I'd chatty chat with you a little bit, and like I said, I don't know what I'm going to be chatty chatting with you tomorrow, you know, maybe something crazy. Uh, I need to listen to audiobooks too, uh, so um, Audible's got their sale, 85, up to 85% off, man, and that's a good sale too, because I got, alright, so I'm not going to tell you. I'll tell you this tomorrow about the audiobooks that I got because I also need to do some listening. I need to play uh, catch up for real on Outlander. But, you know, time is time. So we'll see what we'll do. But on that note, I will stop the chat chats with you. And I will talk to you with y'all again tomorrow. So y'all have a great one. And uh, peace out. I'll see you. Bye.